Hello and welcome to this third from the last installment of Banana Slug News. Here at Banana Slug News, we pride ourselves in being the number one local news educational program in the greater UCSC campus area. In fact, we're the only source of mixed media for the campus, so it's our way or the highway. I'm Taylor Skillen. And I'm Frank Nunez. And now, on to the news. For those of you who thought you knew Santa Cruz, you might be surprised to learn that up until the 1950s, the downtown area was home to a once thriving Chinatown district. Concerned with keeping the memory of the Chinese community alive, the Chinese Student Association and UCSC organized two tours with a former resident of the area on May 8th and May 17th. Here's Loanne with the details. On the 8th and 17th of May, the Chinese Student Association offered two tours in downtown Santa Cruz, showing places that were once known as Chinatown. A former resident of Chinatown, George Au, guided the group through a journey in the memory of generations of Chinese immigrants. I lived in Chinatown, and where we are all standing right now, this Chinatown was here from approximately 1894 to until a little bit after the flood of 1955. So if you walk down here, go to the Riverfront Theater, or eat at Mobo, or uh, buy something at Trader Joe's, you won't have any inkling that there was a Chinatown right here. This is the way that it looked. At the end of the 19th century, the immigration laws were very strict in the U.S. and allowed immigrants to live only in restricted areas. In Santa Cruz, it was near the San Lorenzo River, which was at the time a frequently flooded area. The thing was, was that the Chinese labor was needed but people didn't want them in their backyard. The Chinese residents finally left Chinatown after the 1955 flood because a recent change in the immigration laws allowed them to live elsewhere. So the Chinese after World War II, like my relatives, could disperse wherever they wanted. They could go live a few blocks down or to another neighborhood, and uh, they did because who wants to stay in the ghetto that gets flooded every 20 years. So you have to kind of get into a, a detective or a psychic mode uh, just to kind of feel that there are spirits here. Uh, hundreds of Chinese that lived here, that worked here, that um, died here. All these old guys, they salute you. Just, just, just kind of remember. They didn't have the opportunities, but they paved the way for me to have mine, and uh, I would say uh, you to have yours too. I just want to learn about what Chinatown was like in Santa Cruz, because it's, it seems so odd that Santa Cruz would have a Chinatown. I really would like to learn about that. For me, I would say it was interesting to learn about the history and um, all the hard work that people of my ancestry or background came over and overcome, came and stuff like that here in Santa Cruz. So next time you're having a stroll along the San Lorenzo River, listen carefully and you might hear the message that those hungry ghosts are sending from the past to younger generations. From Chinatown, Santa Cruz, this is Luan. Back to you in the studio. May 20th marked a triumphant day for our fighting slugs. UCSC's very own men's tennis team beat out number three Emory University in a 5-1 victory to seal the sixth national championship for the Division III men's team. The slugs swept both singles and doubles play, claiming championship gold in both. Go slugs. In this week's Digital Roundup, Al Gore. Apple computer founder Steve Jobs, in a rare interview away from his iPod, stated that if Al Gore ran for president, quote, there's no question in my mind he would be elected, end quote. Al Gore is currently on the board of Apple computers and is credited with the company's recent decision to reveal its environmental policies and plans for the future. <laughs> 